Howdy friends and neighbors, Banjo Ben here in the cabin. I'm working hard producing lots of new content that's going to be released um, on the new site version that's coming in just a few weeks. I'm really excited about that. But at the same time, I'm helping my students learn how to pick better. And I had a question from one of them this morning regarding bag of licks on guitar and how to take those to the next level. And so I wanted to share with you a challenge that I gave to him and how to incorporate these into a song. So there's going to be a link either beneath this video or above it, depending on where you're watching this video. Um, to a link to a thread on my forum where I have three mp3s you can download. These are jam tracks for the song You Are My Sunshine in the key of G. And I go through the progression three times at each speed. And the challenge is this. Grab a bag of licks tab for guitar, banjo, or mandolin. Take those licks, which are all one or two measure licks, place them into the chord progression for You Are My Sunshine and just see how it works. The point of this is not to build some solo that you're going to record. The point is to see how licks work over a specific chord progression and you will get better at playing whenever you try to do this. I promise it. So I'm going to just demonstrate it for you here. I've got bag of licks uh, for guitar number two open and I'm just going to grab some of these licks that I teach in that lesson, place them together to fit the chord progression for You Are My Sunshine just so you can hear it. Here we go. That last note there was not was not part of the solo. Anyway, um, so there's an example of how you might do this, and then you can rearrange, grab different licks, and what you'll find is, hey, this lick works better right here. Hey, there's this is a cool way to transition from this lick to this lick. Hey, this C lick sounds good over a G chord for some reason. I mean, you're going these things are going to start start working together in your brain to make you a better picker. I have people all the time write me and say, how do I get better at improvising? How do I get better at creating solos? But you 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 think that it's just going to happen by putting your fingers down on this fingerboard. It's not. We have to be intentional, and this is one way to do that. So I challenge you to do that. Um, and I also had to show off this new Hooper Bolivian Rosewood guitar that I just had sent to me by Ken Hooper. Um, and just to get you drooling over it, because it's going to be for sale on the new site here in a few weeks. It's a, uh, it is what I like to call a hoss. Anyway, enjoy this challenge. Go get those jam tracks. Put them to use. Love you guys.